Hey all, welcome back. So in our last video, we looked at proposal writing. I gave you some important tips that was required. In this particular video, we will be mostly focusing on midterm report writing. Though it is not possible for me to give you my entire report. So I have just constructed a simple guideline that can help you to get it started. So by the end of this particular video, most probably you will have a clear understanding of how to write a good midterm submission. So let's begin today's session. Well, next comes your midterm. Now, in this, you have to think that you have done half your project till now and you are just giving a progress report to the organization. Now, again, focus on why and how more than what you have done. So, why you have used that particular approach and how you have benefited from that. I also got this recommendation to focus on why and how rather than what. So, what I did was I just included what all the steps that I followed and there it was a problem. So focus on this. Now, third thing that I did, which was rather different, was that you have to write on the behalf of the company or agency that you're working as. Okay. So don't use the word I. Use as less I as possible. Now, in this section, you can be a little creative and you can tell a story for better writing. So what you can do is you can connect different sections. So say you loaded your data, right? Now, you are seeing that it's a messy data. So we can't work on that messy data. You can write, as the data is messy, we need to clean it up. I am going to do all the following things for cleaning up. Obviously, you don't have to write all the Excel details or the Python details. Just focus on that you have done this particular thing. And lastly, you have to show that, yes, I have completed cleaning and now my data looks like this, which is an Excel row and table. So that thing you can do. And similarly, you can connect different, different sections using a story and it will help in readability as well. That's what I did in my midterm report, okay? Now, make sure you include company's proof and follow the rubrics for the midterm given. So let's look at these. So here again, same document, but now if I go here, you can see that again, it has an executive summary, but make sure that you don't write the same executive summary that you have used here. Obviously, title can be same, but the executive summary has to be different because your document now contains half of the analysis. So make sure that you follow that. Okay. Now, company details basically means this. Okay. Proof of originality of data. That is any survey link that you can do, maybe a photograph of the organization. A letterhead from the organization will be a very good option for you. And this is also what they recommend that letter from the organization in letterhead with the stamp and sign. So every organization have their stamp as well as the owner has the sign. So make sure that you tell them to give you this particular letter. And images of the form of service escape max five. So what you can do is whenever you go for the interview for this short video, you can click some pictures and you can add it in a folder and give that particular link here okay so short video of three to eight minutes interacting with the fountain now next is very important you have to include the metadata metadata refers to title description tags categories as well as the column names and what it means that's what i included in this so if you go to this capstone here and you can see this kb data glossary you can always refer to that for getting your metadata next is descriptive statistics this is just to understand the data it is not that you have to be very descriptive about it and you have to do a lot of work no just be sure that you have this mean median mode standard deviation variance and all those things which we get directly from pandas data frame dot describe you can use that particular method also for your use case make sure that you include this because this will be very important okay now once you have done that you have to explain the analysis process or method and what you have to explain is very important. Justification for its usage means why you have used it and why this method is more appropriate than this. So just focus on why it is beneficial and why you have used that particular thing. You should be very clear here. Next, result and finding graph and other pictorial representation preferred with words. So again, you have to show what are the results and findings. What you have to do is you have to clearly explain whatever trends you have found and what and why patterns that has been observed in the analysis. And here be very brief because in the next part, which is your end term report, you have to explain a lot in this particular section. Okay. So here be very brief, just roughly touch up on it. Okay. One more thing before closing this particular section is that the short video that you will record it can be in any language no problem with that but you have to convert that particular thing in english and one of the trick that i used in this section was i just uploaded it to my youtube and used the auto translate feature i am not saying you have to write 8 to 10 pages long only you can include 
plus 2 or minus 2 also. So that is how you should write your midterm report. Now moving on to our end calculations. 